What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We teamed up with Hayboxing for another instructional video with the Protector. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to change out the spur gear on the Protector. This will be my first time changing the spur gear out. So we're going to go through it together, figure it out and get it done. So we're going to put the Protector aside there for a sec, bring in the manual. And if we go to page 41 on the included manual that came with your Protector is where we'll see the spur gear listed. The spur gear drive gear. And that is part number 12602RE1. So we're just going to get set up here and we'll be right back with changing out that spur gear. Alright guys, so to get started here, the only tools I'm bringing out so far, I've got a couple uh, Phillips screwdrivers and I've got a little magnet here just to uh, hold on to any screws that I take out so we don't lose them. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to pull out the body clips. Two body clips on the back and that'll give us a better view of what we're doing here. All right, so now we've got to take out the motor here. So I believe we have seven screws. We have three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total. So we're gonna pull out these seven screws. There we go, now that takes off the cover there. And we can actually see our spur gear right there, sitting down in there. So we're going to pull that motor out next and we'll see what kind of room that gives us. Alright, we got the last screw out there. We're going to flip that motor back out of the way. That's going to expose our spur gear now. So there's our spur gear right there. That's what we want to get out and replace. Looks like we've got two screws at the back here that we're going to have to take out. And it looks like we're going to take the suspension arms out and probably the shock tower as well is going to have to uh, to come out to get us access to the spur gear. So we'll start by taking the two screws out at the back here. There we go. Now I believe we're going to have to take off the shock tower here. And I think I'm just going to undo the screws right here and see if we can make that work. Taking out these screws, that's going to undo the top of the suspension arms. And we can put those out of the way, they just pop out, and we can just turn them to the side. Now, yes, we're going to take the shock tower off, and then we're going to have to get these two screws out right here. So let's pull the shock tower out. We've got four screws. One, two, three, four, that need to come out, and that'll uh, release the shock tower. There we go, shock tower has been released now. And for the purpose of this video, I'm actually just going to pull the shocks off as well, so we can, or at least one side, so we can get a clear view of it. And there we go. So we're going to pull this whole front assembly out. Now this is your uh, differential here. We're just going to pull the diff straight up and out. Perfect. And I'm just going to pull in, since it's greasy, I'm just going to pull in a little piece of plastic here to put it on. Alright guys, now that we've got the spur gear exposed, we just need to pry up right here on the mount for the ESC. There's no screws holding that in. We just get a flathead, go underneath, and just pry it up a bit. You're not going to hurt anything. There we go. And now, let's see if we can get this in view here. Now that we've got a little bit of clearance here, we grab the drive shaft. I'm just going to use a screwdriver to get it up here a bit. Grab it and lift it up high enough so you can pull the spur gear out. And there we go. The spur gear is now out, but we do need to take the drive gear off. Now we've got a bearing on the back. Just pulls off very easy. We've got now the drive gear. That, that's part of the drive gear on the back. I just push it through like that and we can pull it right out. We've got the spur gear, we'll get right back to that. Now the drive gear, if you were to replace that, well this bearing will just pull off as well. It's a little bit tougher to get off, but it can be done. There we go. And you would typically replace your drive gear along with your spur gear, they do come as a kit. I'm gonna throw that bearing back on there. There we go, we're gonna put the drive gear aside now, and our spur gear 
that's all there is to it guys not too hard to take out we're going to reassemble it now we're going to make sure everything is nice and clean in the protector here we want to make sure everything's cleaned out so that's what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get everything cleaned out blow it out with the air compressor and then we're going to reassemble it and that's it all right guys so we're going to reassemble it now we're going to take our spur gear now you've got a longer side for the shaft and a shorter side well that longer part goes towards the back and we stick the drive gear through the front i am going to add a little bit of grease to that i've got some uh grease here that we're just going to add might as well take the opportunity to grease everything up and I would suggest that uh, you also grease uh, all the parts before you put them back in here that'll just make everything last longer there we go and now we're going to take the bearing and stick it on the back side put goes on pretty easy we lift up that drive shaft and you're just going to stick that spur gear in. Before I do that, let me point out, you have a bearing, I call it a race or a slot for your front bearing and another one for your back bearing to sit in, like a saddle. So make sure your bearings are seated properly. We'll put the spur gear over top here. And there we go, my bearings are lined up. Everything looks great there. I am going to take this opportunity to put a little grease on there and a little grease on there. I'll make sure that's all greased up nicely before I uh, finish assembling it. So I'm going to get this back together guys. We'll just uh, keep the video rolling here and we'll uh, come back and uh, have a little chat before we conclude this video. Flip that motor back in the place here. And we're going to reinstall the four screws that we took out. So we've got those screws on the magnet there. And we'll get those back in. All right. We got those four screws in there. They're just snug, they're not tight yet. We're just going to make sure everything's meshing nice. Everything seems to be good. Okay, that, that seems pretty good, so we're going to finish tightening those up now. Alright guys, now that the motor's mounted, the gears are meshing nice, we've got it greased up, we're going to put this dust cap on. This slips over the top like that, we've got three screws, shorter one at the front and on either side are the longer screws. Alright, now that we got the spur gear all changed out there, we don't feel any resistance here, everything was meshing good. We're going to turn that transmitter on, we threw some batteries in there. We'll power the protector on there, protector's good to go, and let's make sure everything's good. Perfect guys. Alright, well guys, HBX protector, very easy RC to work on. Thanks to HBX for uh, teaming up with me on this one. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.